to News from the Sound, a weekly cooperative effort between BCTV and the Sound newspaper. I'm Nicole Ball, and here are your highlights from the Sound's August 12th issue. I'd like to start this week by reminding you that primary election results are posted to the Sound's website, zippo6.com forward slash Brantford, right now. Though our newspaper is weekly, you can find news every day on our website. You can also like the Sound on Facebook or Twitter if you wish to have election results, breaking news, and event reminders sent right to you. In other election-related news, on August 3rd, national newscaster Katie Couric toured Brantford with Linda McMahon, a Republican candidate for Senate. The two stopped along the Brantford Green during their stroll. Chad Lyons snapped a photo to share with the community, which you can find on zippo6.com forward slash Brantford and the local scoop box. In regular news, this past weekend proved to be bountiful for potato and corn lovers alike. The North Brantford Potato and Corn Festival featured games, music, rides, contests, and of course, the famed cow chip raffle. And you can bet there were enough loaded baked potatoes and giant ears of corn to go around. If you attended the three-day festival and snapped some photos, head over to Zippo6.com to submit your gallery to the Zippo6 photo section. The sound will try to print some of your photos in the newspaper in the coming weeks. If you're a manager who is out of work, you might want to listen up. Brantford is offering a re-employment all-day workshop for managers at Town Hall on August 19th. The workshop, presented by New Haven-based Workforce Alliance, will touch on resume writing, short and long-term job search strategies, as well as harnessing the power of social networking. Residents should email info at workforcealliance.biz or call Robert Fort at 203-624-1493, extension 242. This week, Mike Russo brings Brantford residents back in time to when movies cost just 99 cents a show. On Monday nights, he writes, you can enjoy a 99 cent film and hot buttered popcorn at the Brantford Theater on South Main Street. Read his My Hometown column this week in The Sound or online at www.zippo6.com forward slash Brantford. If you reminisce about the good old theater days, share your memory with Mike in the comment section below the story on the website. In sports, the Brantford Senior American Legion baseball team reached the Northeast Regional Finals and may head to the World Series in Spokane, Washington if it wins this week. The team carried over the momentum from its triumph in the state tournament by winning its first three games in the regionals, beating Essex Junction of Vermont 6-5, followed by a 6-4 win against Auburn of Maine and a 5-0 triumph against Gofftown of New Hampshire. Head over to zippo6.com forward slash Bramford to see a photo gallery of the victorious team and stay tuned to the website to find out if the team advances. The Sound Sports Person of the Week has three decades of coaching under his belt and he's still going. Dave Augustine, a Bramford resident, is a longtime coach of the East Haven High School golf team and he credits the longevity of his service to the support of the entire athletic department and the athletic directors he has worked with over the years. In Living. This week's main story explores some misnomers about bats and the mysterious white nose syndrome that has been affecting their population. Learn about local bat species and find out how you can attend an event to further explore what these tiny winged creatures are all about this week in the sound and online at zippo6.com. In Columns. Lee White talks about her cooking mishap with baked beans but offers you a flawless recipe in her latest installment of a la carte. And this week's movie review of Dinner for Schmucks is available online at zippo6.com in the living section. To receive movie show times and reviews on Friday nights, like the sound on Facebook, and we'll send the information straight to you. And this week on the web, the Dan Cosgrove Animal Shelter and John Steady of Steady Photography have posted another pet of the week to the local scoop box on zippo6.com forward slash Brantford. You may remember Cassie, the calico cat who came on this show last week. She's still looking for the right home as her case is very unique. Cassie has feline aids, but is a healthy cat. She needs a home where there are other cats who have also tested positive for the disease, or a home where she can be the only cat. To see a photo gallery of Cassie, and to read more about her, head over to the website. And we're also happy to let you know that Sully, the bull mastiff, who was featured as Pet of the Week last week, has found a new home in the country, where there's plenty of place for him to play and plenty of food for him to eat. Julie Francis of Sound Runner writes this week about the natural running shoes Vibram Five Fingers. Are they right for you? Head over to the local scoop box on zippo6.com forward slash Brantford to find out. Julie has also posted a photo gallery in the Zippo 6 photo section featuring a local youth running group. And finally, we'd like to introduce you to Brantford resident Maura Page, who won the Sounds Makeover Contest. In addition to working out, Maura has also been trying new fashion styles to suit her life as a school teacher, as well as sampling different beauty treatments to enhance her features. 
Along the way, she's been keeping a journal leading up to her final reveal before her friends and family, which you can find on the Sounds website, zippo6.com forward slash Branford and the local scoop box. Check back online for updates on her makeover progress to see photos from her experience and to watch a video detailing her transformation. And that's it for news from the Sound this week. We'll see you next week.